Hey guys, this video is for our second through fourth grade leaders from May week three. So our life app for the month is source code, untangle the web. And our, um, sorry, that's our theme. Our life app is honesty, choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. So in the first week of this month, our bottom line was when you're not truthful, you lose trust. Last week, our bottom line was when you're not truthful, you hurt others. And this week, our story is from the book of Esther, and it's about Haman's plot against the Jews. And our bottom line is when you lie to help yourself, you hurt yourself instead. And our memory verse for this month is anyone who lives without blame walks safely, but anyone who takes a crooked path will get caught. Proverbs 10, 9. So like normal, when you get here at 8.30 and 10.30, just take a few minutes to pray for your small group. Um, ask God to help your kids learn to be honest in everything that they do, even in little moments of life. And just pray that your small group would see the value in honesty in all situations. And then when kids start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40, ask them to join your circle. Ask about their week. Make sure you know all their names. Definitely make sure any first-time guests feel very welcomed. And then you're basically going to play two truths and a lie, except with one truth and one lie. So you're going to say, okay, guys, I'm going to say one statement. I want you to guess which one's true and which one is false about myself. So you might say, uh, my favorite food is raspberries and I love to go to Florida on vacation and they have to pick which one is the false statement which my favorite food is not raspberries but strawberries would be up there um, and so you're just gonna play that little icebreaker game then at 9 and 11 when service starts your small group is gonna have um, a set of plastic cups so you're gonna divide your group into two teams and give each team the same amount of cups and then you're gonna have them compete with each other to see which team can build the tallest tower so, sorry, the iPad's moving. I'm trying to rock a little while I'm doing this. Um, so, they can stack cups by placing them one on top of the other. They can put them on the table or the floor upside down. Um, they could put one right side up, one upside down, however they want to do it. So, let teams stack the cups until the stop time. So, say, okay, I'm going to give you guys five minutes and then time it on your phone. Maybe tell them when they only have 30 seconds left and then pick a winner. And when you close before you head to a large group, you're going to say, so guys, we had some good competition going on there. And I noticed how you were working together as a team to make your tower the best. So were you more concerned with making yourself look good or were you thinking about everyone else? So hopefully they say they were thinking about the whole team. Well, today in large group, we're going to learn about someone else who tried to help himself win, but in the end, he hurt himself instead. So then you'll head across the hall to large group. Just make sure that you sit with your group, help them to listen, help them to worship. Even if they're not doing the dance moves, just say, hey guys, just sing the songs. Even if you don't want to dance, you're still singing and praising God. When you get back from large group, you're going to do a review activity called Who's Who. So what you're going to do is each kid is going to get um, both of these pages. So one has a second place ribbon, um, a coat and then a queen's crown and a king's crown. So each kid is going to get those pages. And um, what they're gonna do is they're gonna color and cut out each object. And then you're gonna use glue dots to glue um, each one of those to a popsicle stick. So kind of by the end, kids will have four almost puppet-like things on a popsicle stick. Um, so as you work, just encourage the kids to identify who's who from the Bible story. So the crown with the number one belongs to King Xerxes. Um, the second place ribbon was for Haman, the queen's crown is for Esther, and the rugged robe is for Mordecai. So you're going to read each review question and encourage kids to answer by holding up the object of the person. So, um, for example, who was the king in today's story? King Xerxes, so they're going to hold up the number one crown. So then you'd just go through all these review questions and they would hold up the right thing that they made. So then you'll close that activity by saying, you guys did a great job paying attention today in today's story. Um, when Haman came up with his evil plan, he was going to ruin the lives of many people, including Queen Esther and Mordecai. So it was a good thing God brought Esther into the story and used her to save all of those people. Have you guys ever been faced with a situation where you needed to tell the truth, but you were a little scared? So then allow time if kids need to share those stories. Those were great examples, guys. And Haman was not concerned about telling the truth, but was more concerned about making himself look good. And we can learn from Haman's mistakes and understand that when you lie to help yourself, you hurt yourself instead. So then for the memory verse review, um, you're going to play a game called Caught in the Truth. It's actually not a game. You're going to decorate um, those poster boards that you've been working on the last two weeks in your small group. 
So first you're gonna ask your kids if anybody knows the memory verse without looking and see if a few kids can say it. And then you're gonna have them sit in a circle and you're gonna put your memory verse poster board um, in the middle of your circle that they've been working on. And then you're gonna hand out these. Each kid gets one little person. So if you just wanna like snip lines and then give them each a person to cut out. And then you're gonna give them some time to decorate their little person, write their name on it. And then they're gonna glue their person um, inside and underneath the web that they made last week on the memory verse poster. And you're gonna close by saying, so guys, not only do our lives create a messy web, but in the end, we will also get caught up in our web just like the memory verse says. So whether you have good reasons or you're just lying to hurt someone or being dishonest always ends up hurting us too in the end. So when we lie to help ourselves, we end up hurting ourselves instead. And when you're tempted to lie, think about how it might come back around to you and you want to protect the other person and yourself. So then if you have time, here's some optional small group questions. Great questions to think about lying um, to go over with your small group. And then the last thing is just praying. And guys, this is such an important part because you are really teaching your small group how to pray. They might not get taught how to pray anywhere else. At home, prayer might not be important. We get busy, we get rushed. So this is such an important part of small group. Just encourage your small group to sit together and ask them to close their eyes and think about a time when they've been dishonest. And while their eyes are closed, encourage them to silently pray and ask God for forgiveness. Um, and that's just so awesome. You're just teaching them how to pray to themselves. So, And then when they open their eyes, explain that we all mess up and nobody's perfect. And tell kids that God wants what's best for us and he always forgives us when we mess up. So then there's a prayer that you can close with here. And as adults pick up, um, prompt kids to tell them about the characters in today's story. They get to take home their little characters that they made. And just have them tell their parents the bottom line. When you lie to help yourselves, you end up hurting yourself instead. So that's it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for being the most amazing small group leaders week after week. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And I'll see you on Sunday.